cutie. Hi, welcome to another episode of the Lamstergram. And we are here at Aurora's Cottages in Lian Batangas in our DIY L300 camper van. our channel you must know that we have this van for almost two years now and it has been a slow build according to what we can afford at the moment but we are proud of the progress that we have had so far and so we're gonna give you an updated van tour because we have a few changes and well just to keep you abreast on all the things that we have added since our last van tour update I'm gonna take you inside as you may already know we have two beds in the van which is Miriam's loft over here which we built out from a windbreaker that part so this is an extension that is removable when we do travel yeah. and of course our main bed which is a Murphy bed that we put up when we're not sleeping and we want more space inside the van but since we got a van dog we didn't even know that we were preparing for a van dog room <laughs> in the garage that is formed when the bed is now we now have these very comfy throw pillows and we have plants! Yeah, so we got ourselves a few succulents. We have one side, it's Miriam's loft. Yeah. And oh, we added some indoor lights here. These are still our canned food cabinet. This has snacks. This one has, you know, the powdered drinks. Of course, we have our fruits and vegetables because our little vegetarian Miriam never left today without them. So we got these nice net bags that you can carry with you on your market trip. One for vegetables and one for fruits. They're both decorative and functional. And we have this vaporizer that we're using with citronella to keep the bugs and mosquitoes away. And so far it has worked wonders for us. So this storage area on top of the mirror is for our toiletry. So anything that's toiletry related goes in here. And it's special because you can access it from the inside of the van or the outside. So if you're back there and you don't want to go inside the van, you can just reach up and pull stuff from here. Yep. And here we have uh, makeup stuff, medicines. Oh, it's not here, but this is where we usually keep our bread and our spreads. Uh, only the peanut butter is there because the rest of it is on the table when we had breakfast. And here is all the extra things that don't fit. Soup. And of course, our miscellaneous caddies there that we need when we're driving. Welcome to the Philamstagram Sorry Sorry Star. No, seriously, this is our kitchen. So we have our cooking utensils here. And we have ingredients, condiments over here, your very, very expensive onions, garlic, uh, other stuff, pots and pans, and plastic and packaging materials rather, uh, other spices, yeah. And this is our closet. So the top has our towels rolled up and this is Paul's clothes all rolled up so that they can take up the least space. This is my box, it's my clothes. Uh, for this one, because this is the most convenient place to put it. These are, these are actually where our electronic devices are because we put the extension cord right here to power our fan and other stuff. Chargers in here in this organizer. Yeah, and here is Miriam's stuff. So Miriam's stuff is down there. And then here is like, uh, this is, <laughs> is actually a toilet. So, because we don't have a proper toilet yet. So this thing is a collapsible toilet from Nature Hike. We got this at Easy Camp. And you just have to just lift it up and twist. And it clicks into place. But they, you see that there are holes here, which means you have to have uh, biodegradable plastic inside. So I already put one in here. So you basically just lift this toilet trim. Nature. It's 
can also be used as a trash can if you want one. Takes up no space whatsoever. And to collapse it, you just twist a little and it all goes down to almost nothing. And it comes with its own carrying case. We just put our hats there because we have no other place for them, but this usually has our spoons and forks there and cut through the end. So that is half the tour because the next part would be what happens when we have the bed up. And to put the bed up, we have to put all these pillows up there in Miriam's loft. We have already removed the actual extension. We have already removed the metal uh, surface and it goes into the front seat there for the pillows we have to stash them here okay let's go ahead and put the bed up there's car seat in so see so how easy that is just like that put the sofa back together there's a the sofa <laughs> Here, we actually have <laughs> a very big fiberglass LPG tank. Okay, so why LPG? If you have been using butane canisters, you know that they don't last very long and you uh, end up buying a lot and they're expensive. So in one camping trip, how many canisters do you go through? But with an LPG tank, it's actually more economical in terms of gas. And this one is very special because it's fiberglass. It's from Easy Gas, so this doesn't explode. In case of fire, in case the vehicle catches fire, anything catches fire and it's surrounded by heat, it just melts down. It does not explode unlike the ordinary metal LPG canisters. This one is used with a dual stove which can go with either LPG or butane but we are LPG people. This is our uh, powder, fire extinguisher. That's This is our rags. This is a basket that has our plates and bowls so if we are eating outside, it's easy to Pull them all together and also to bring them to the uh, washing area. This one has our cups and actually it's dual purpose. It also has our extra uh, golf ball lights. And this one is cutie stuff. So she's got her toys there, her diapers, her uh, food bowl, her water bowl, her shampoo, everything else that she needs and her food also. So here, this side, nothing much. Just uh, that's Coco Pete. In case we want to use a uh, composting toilet, some budgie cords. Okay. And this one's just random stuff that we need accessible drink. Okay, this is where we are going to have our water set up. So we're gonna put our gray water tank. Okay, and then later on, when we have a roof rack, we're gonna have a gravity system that pulls water from the top, of the roof going down to our sink and from the sink going down into the gray water tank that's here so right now we're just using it for storage and here is our oops okay it's a fake door <laughs> this is a uh, this, that's just our drinking water okay the drinking water is connected to our pump over here USB powered pump all right and here we have more storage space this is where we put our uh, camping chairs camping table our tripod here we have shoes here we have our drone and some other electrical stuff here we have our induction stove and this this is our waterproof bag for our dirty wet clothes and this is a laundry bag for our dry clothes And under the floor is actually a hidden tool cabinet for power tools and other stuff that we might need for emergencies. Thank you for watching our updated van tour! Don't forget to subscribe to our van life and travel channel! Sending love from